Hello guys, welcome back to some more Red Dead Redemption 2. In the last episode, we went to our little high society party at the mayor's house, and we managed to get a few leads on the bank we can rob. That's what Dutch told us anyway. And this episode now, we're going to give Mary Linton a visit. It's been a while since Arthur last saw Mary Linton, so... This is a side mission after all, but I thought, as Mary Linton's missions are probably the best side missions in the game, I thought, yeah, why not give Mary Linton a visit? I do quite like these missions, actually, so... Yeah. Let's go see Mary Linton. Arthur! Arthur! Up here! You came! Yeah. I came. So, uh, what do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. Arthur. Hello, Mary. You came. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I, I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but... But surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than... Than, than me? Than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? And hypocritical daddy with his drinking and horn and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. Please. Sorry. I am... I should have asked someone else, but... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. It all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Come along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur. You know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. Oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But... Well, I don't know. All right, let's go pay your old man a visit. I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's Arthur and Mary Linton's father are not on good terms. Yeah, sounds like a good relationship these two have, doesn't it? When you don't get on with their father. But... Who knows what we're going to find Mary Linton's father up to. He's a bit of a gambler and a drinker, so... Who knows? Whenever he's had plenty of drinks, he's going to sell to a lot of trouble. So, one way to find out. Go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. You 
can't stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on a lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. I make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. Never been so to me, you my life. Apology accepted. Oh, my own wait daughter. right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, it's... Daddy, please come home. You're tired, Daddy. Tired. I and am no unwell. such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur, he's up to no good. Sounds like a nice father, doesn't he? Okay. So now we're going to follow him through the streets of Saint Denis. This mission really does feel like an Assassin's Creed mission. When you have to stay behind someone and follow them around the street, or if you don't get too close, you'll be spotted exactly what it's like in Assassin's Creed. The only problem is, with though, if when you play Red Dead Redemption, you can't do parkour along the buildings. Obviously it's understandable, this is not Assassin's Creed. Where's this nutter up to? You can see why he has such a high opinion of He's definitely had plenty to drink. Okay, let's go. Ugh, why is his vomit so green? What the fuck has he been drinking? Why am I even looking at it in the first place? Come here, quick! Mind where you go! Mind where you go! Sorry? Yeah, I think he saw us. I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! He's heading across the road. He looks too drunk to get in the fight as well. He don't look normal. Hey, old man! Nah, he didn't hear that. He's walking like a pisshead, that's for sure. Alright, let's see what he's been up to. Let's go find out. Don't say I never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. Not that way. Let's see what he's up to. Whatever it is, it can't be good. What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals, or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was it's mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not even his to sell. No, it's just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself Come killed. You don't understand. Mother left it to me. Yeah. You sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. 
Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. Sorry, Mary, no promises. Can't promise that one, I'm afraid. Where's my horsey? Yeah, I'm definitely going to need my horse just to catch up with this guy. There's a horse right there, but I'm not going to nick someone else's horse. Hopefully my horse can hear me whistle. Then he'll come to me and hopefully we can catch up with this bastard. Okay, my horse just around the corner. Come on, boy, I need your help. Can't do this without you. Come on, I was whistling for you. You didn't even hear me. You going deaf or something? Right, never mind. Let's go find this guy. Chase after the wagon. Mary doesn't want me to kill him, but should I kill him or not? Hmm. It's debatable, really. Well, I often want to leave a good impression on Mary, so I may as well do this the difficult way. I mean, I did give Arthur a haircut before going to see Mary, so got to leave a good impression as possible. There's no turning back now. Come on, stop the wagon. You're not going to outrun me. Right, I'm going to jump. Here we go. Move towards the driving left stick to jack the wagon. Buddy, you've got something I want. Drive to a scheduled spot. Okay, hopefully the scheduled spot is just up here. That went pretty well. You have something I want, and you're going to give it to me. I believe you have something that belongs to Mary Linton. Get Mary to it from the buyer. Come on, you have something I want. wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. I don't think so. I'm not here to make negotiations. A <clears throat> hundred? What do you take me for? Okay, okay. Uh, I'm a reasonable man. Let's say fifty. Nope. Not good enough, Ashton. Okay, Jesus! $25, that's my final offer. Oh, $25, eh? Still being stingy, ain't ya? Take the damn thing. Thank you, mate. Return the approach to Mary. Well, at least he's still alive. Beat him a few times, but at least he's still alive. Anyway. Come on, boy. We've got what we need. This horse still not coming to me. I'm whistling for it and it's still not even coming toward me. What's up with my horse today? At least we got Mary's little item. Let's go give it back to her. I wonder how she's getting on with her dad back there. I don't know. You want me to go find him again? Not really. Well, let's take a walk. I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Yeah, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. Hey, what are you doing now, right this moment? Why'd you ask? Uh, well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Uh, head to the theater, perhaps. Uh, 
Gator? Me? Sure, why not? It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, it's the normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on it. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but <laughs> you ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well, that's true. <laughs> so, shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. You're not a very nice woman, Mrs. <laughs> Lamb. Well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's sort of beautiful. In a gaudy and tasteless way. It's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, no, I didn't mean it like that. I... I'm sure. <clears throat> you silly man. Come on. Let's go find our seats. How about here on the right? Sure. After you. Nice little theatre they got here. Hey, well, I'm just going to keep quiet and just sit back and enjoy the show. Welcome! <laughs> and thank you for that thunderous applause. I am Aldridge T. Abington, the greatest assembler of entertainment since Nero himself. Do not doubt. As a child, when I walked the horse manure covered streets of Saint Denis, I never dreamed of the stir I would create in this locality as a proprietor of the greatest show ever assembled. Prepare for the grandest excitement of your curiosity. Fire, snakes, and magic. I encourage any of you to dabble in all three if you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. For entertainment is a gift that will see you through the winter better than any packed larder or root cellar full of canned goods. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss Robin Koninsky! Boring! this place we all love called Saint Denis. Saloon, the rich and poor and the bourgeoisie, they's all heading down to Santa. 
Perfect. Oh, I see you, you. You love her dulcet tones, right? Yes. She is pure spectacle, and I assure you, she can charm any beast, any beast at all, from cockroach to killer whale. <laughs> Your mother most likely told you not to play with fire or to spend time in the company of strange women. You are about to do both. <laughs> Miss Antoinette Sanserino. Yeah. Stop it. Amazing. See how this could go horribly wrong. I hope she stays away from the curtain. Enchanting, mesmerizing. She is truly one to bring home to mother. It is said that there is a place in France where the naked ladies dance. I have been there. 
Prepare for the body braziers of the Petit Flaneur in Gay Paris! <laughs> Incredible! Aren't they lovely? Oh, those legs are a sight to behold. I am spent. Perfect. <laughs> Each of my shows is truly incredulous. Oh, inspiring, and I'm sure you enjoyed. Thank you. <laughs> we flounder through the morass of humanity with only bright moments like these before it all goes dim and snuffs out in silence. So thank you. What a lovely evening. Come back tomorrow. All right. Well, shall we? Yes. That was fun, Arthur. <laughs> it was. <laughs> All right. You better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but somehow very amusing. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> My life wasn't supposed to... Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? I can't lie to you. I want it, man, Mary. If I... If anyone close to me, well, they're wanted to. And I can't have you wrapped up in there. But it's coming to an end. 
This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. I want to. More than anything, I want to. But I've got some people I need to take care of. Once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur... If we're gonna run away anywhere, we'd need money. Soon, I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will, once I get some money. I had some. But then some fool got it trapped into a town that I can't go back to. That's another story. I'll write you. Yeah. That theatre was... Eh, it's alright. Not my kind of entertainment, but it was fun to spend time with Mary Linton. Mission Complete, Fatherhood, Other Dreams too. I actually got a gold on that. Catch a wagon and take it to schedule spot in one minute for it. Second, take Mary to the theatre. Yep. It's quite fun. So there are two missions in in San Denise. There's, there's three main missions we can do. Let's have a look. Uh, so we've got a choice between a stranger... Hmm... And Trelawney. Alright. Okay. Let's go see the stranger first. I wonder who it's going to be. Come on, horsey. Where are you? Why is my horse not coming to me? Christ sakes, horsey. I would nick a horse, but there's a lot of people around here that are going to witness it. And obviously, if they witness it, I'm going to be a wanted man. Come on, horsey. Right, there he actually heard me that time. Right, come on, boy. Let's go see the stranger. Put a gun away. Don't spook anyone. Hello? Who have we got here? Excuse me. Yes, sir? Hey, do I know you? Mr. I believe we've met. We have. At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr... Uh, Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Well, I, uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh... Well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? This is Rainsfall, the great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. We have great powers of observation. As my people, if we are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is. But I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Yeah, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> 
There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, an appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. Oh. We must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. If the counselor wants to apologize, he can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. Well, that was that. Meet Eagle Flight in Cornwall and Tar. That's got to do that somewhere. I think there'll be another mission now pop up. So it looks like I can go do another mission. I think we've got time for one more mission before we end things off. Let's go see Trelawney. And why am I trying to run to this place rather than... Why am I not taking my horse? Come on, horsey. Well, he's actually running to me now. Looks like I can play dominoes around here. I'm not going to. I am going to go see Trelawney. Let's go see what this guy wants. Ah, oh, he's just here as well, actually. Is he in that building? Alright, let's go have a look. I just hope he hasn't got himself into any trouble. Uh, here we are, I should just be around the corner here. My dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahasi riverboat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up. Oh, we're going to do a little robbery. All right, I'm up for this. Been quite a peaceful episode until now. You know, I'm always up for a little robbery. Oh, really? I don't want a new suit. I want to go like I am. Alright, let's see. So what should I... Oh, it's, it's a free outfit. Eh, if it's free, I might as well take it. Alright. That should do. The barber? I had a haircut just before I saw Mary Linton. Come on, my hair's not grown that much. Trelawney, I don't need to go to a barber, man. Coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun. fun. I'm no good at poker. Well, well, after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us. We'll be done here soon. I hope so. Come on. My good man, could you smart enough? Style your head or beard at the bub. Alright, let's see what I can do. Hmm, beard's getting a bit long. Well, actually, no, it's not. What am I saying? 
Yeah, let's go for a fresh trim, actually. Don't know if that'll suit Arthur. Yeah, it may as well. He'll grow back eventually. Uh, let's go for some hair. What Can I cut this a bit shorter, or... Yeah, it's growing a little bit, I guess. Yeah, go on then, this will do. He'll grow back eventually. Coming into this bar was just pointless. Corrigan, sir. Well, look at you. Some toad. The prince. Uh, this Very is funny. The coach. We can't win any up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to burn. Which reminds me. No shuffling and mumbling. Pop your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't Hamlet. So, who's a mark? You all right, by the way, for driving? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Bly. Made a fortune in hosiery, of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> Indeed. What money am I playing with? Don't worry, that has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weapon be here. We are searchers when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. I really hope this goes to plan. I've got no weapon on me whatsoever. So if we get busted, I'm good as dead. Yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. There they are. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. So we're going to be robbing a boat. Oh, this is going to be fun. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. The table's await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Now where can I... Shorts knows the hands that will be dealt. Follow his instructions while playing poker. Oh, I'm not going to have a clue. That's not going to help me, is it? I hate poker. I'm not good at it at all. I don't understand the game and I never will. Right, let's do this. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry, I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Hey, Desmond Bly. Good evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips already stacked up, waiting... Okay, so I need to focus on Strauss. All right. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all feeling? It's 
So do I fold or call two dollars? I'll call two dollars. Taking us. Oh, I don't know what. I don't know what that means. Gonna fold, I guess. Okay, sorry, boys. I'm taking it all. We'll see about that. Here we go then. Hello, my lady. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So, what business are you in, Mr. If I win this, we're not having a clue what I'm doing. I'm going to be very impressed. When I beat you, I'm gonna call one dollar. Take my turn. Call forty-eight dollars. Well, that's a lot of money. I'm folding. I'm folding. Oh, I'm sorry, my friend. I thought you was a player. I ain't got time to waste on fools and cowards. Interesting. <laughs> Ship. Ship. I guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Or, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning... Well, I heard... Well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Why? I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe, upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay. I trust you. Now play. As you wish. So, you must know... Oh, another game of poker. Like you. Of course. It's for an expensive watch, but I don't know if it's going to be worth it. Okay, so what am I gonna do here? Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of well, his own good fortune. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Pear cake. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Uh oh. Yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blind. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace high diamond flush. God damn you! No offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen, please, cash these out for me. I only failed that once. Well, wow, lucky me, I wasn't even paying... Well, I tried to pay attention to Strauss as much possible, but I could not make out what he was trying to say. Well, at least you won the poker game. With second attempt, lucky. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. Oh, I can smell all that treasure. Oh, and the money and the watch. I could sell that watch for a lot of money. Too good for the camp.
Yeah, I know. I know. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Well, here we are. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. <laughs> Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. Sorry, Brian, you're getting robbed. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> idiot. Oh, look at all that money. You in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go meet the We've done our robbery. Let's just get off this boat quickly. Just hoping no one heard that gunshot. We've only got a few minutes to get out of here. Probably less than that. Wouldn't it be easy if we just swam back? And how exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This you really haven't thought that through. Happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. I give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> At the time of my life. <laughs> you boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> ah, look. There's your friend. This don't sound good. The change in music isn't promising. Now, don't be a sore loser, friend. Something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is! Shoot that man! <laughs> Come on, Arthur! You gotta get out of here! So much for a quick and simple approach. Guess we're gonna fight our way out of here now. We need to kill all these guys. The sooner these guys are dead, the sooner we can jump off the boat and get out of here. We haven't thought much of a plan through, so I'm guessing that's going to be the option. Swimming back. Should have thought this through a bit better, Trelawney. Don't need to go on target that one. Let's hit him out of the way. Well, I'm going to get a bit closer to him. So I can take him out. Alright, let's see him go on. That's this one. Get out of here, will ya? Nice. There's someone behind me. I don't think so. They didn't let us bring the guns on the boat. Now I can kind of see why. This was the last thing they wanted. That's all of them. Yep, one step ahead of you. Let's get out of here. We got no choice now, Trelawney. You should have thought this through a bit more. Well, never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch. Uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of Swiss. Uh, a Reutlinger or something? Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. 
All right, come on, let's get out of here. We made a lot of money from that, that was good. So what did I not do? I win the game poke without Strauss's help. Well, I had no choice really. After you cover his blown, escape bone on failure. Second, get five headshots, clean without any taking any health items. Alright then. The mission's done, that's all that matters. Alright, so where do I go now? Who's got any missions for us? So any missions in San Denise? No, it looks like all the missions in San Denise are all gone. We've done them all. So it looks like Eagle Fly's got a mission for us, but that's quite away from here. I think we'll head back to camp. I think we'll do Sadie's mission in the next episode. Yeah, I don't see why not. I want to head out to San Denise, and once we've done that, I'll fast travel. Did not see that coach in front of me. Come on, we'll see. You good? Alright, let's head back to camp. Then we'll end things off when I get back to camp. Get out of my way. I'm a very busy man. That was actually quite a nice robbery back there, maybe except for the poker bit. I didn't like that bit that much. I'm no poker player whatsoever. I'm hoping I can find my way out of here when I go this way. I'm not going to try and fast travel here because if I do, I don't think it's going to let me because I'm in sand and easy. When you fast travel, you cannot be in any urban area, unfortunately, which is a bit of a shame. Once I get off this track, I should be able to fast travel then. You discover the location of a legendary fish. Someone living near Flat Iron Lake is known for their interest in fish. Okay. Let's see if I can fast travel now. Ah, it feels good to be back in camp. Okay, horsey, let's hitch you up. Okay, so I think we've pretty much done everything for this episode. This episode's only been an hour long, so I think I am going to end things off here. We'll talk to Sadie in the next episode. Okay, guys, I'm going to end this episode off here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe. We'll keep up with all the Red Dead Redemption 2 episodes uploaded to my channel. And next episode, we'll go have a little chat with Miss Sadie Adler. I wonder how she's getting on. I'll see you all then. Thank you so much for watching. This is GoldyX, and I'm out. Sure. If you're out on your adventures and you see any herbs for seasoning, would you mind grabbing them for me? Season? Yes. Don't tell Mr. Pearson. <laughs> okay. I'll see what I can do.